Hi everyone. <coughs> right, what I've got to show you at the moment is a couple of tags that I'm working on. Well, this one's now complete. I've just got to finish um, uh, this one off. Now, as you can see, this is me and Glenda. Uh, I'm making Chris and Glenda one as um, just a small token to go in the box to say thank you uh, for having me when I was over in the States. I enjoyed everything and I just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to the girls. Uh, this is the trim that uh, Glenda gave me. The colours I've used on the back um, is two to two colours. Um, that's the silver grey and I think what's the other one now? Oh, I can't remember. But um, the, the Crafting Ocean ones, and I'll put them up in the description. Um, but like I said, this is like a lilac-y trim that Glenda gave me. I've used a brass frame, and as you can see, that's Glenda and I. Uh, we were at the Niagara Falls then. Use some bling. Uh, this was the hair slide. Gorgeous, gorgeous hair slide. But it had all the colours in that I wanted in this tag. So um, I dismantled the back, of course, and added that to here. Um, this is just um, a fluffy, it's really, it's a wire, like a um, pipe cleaner. Uh, and I made my own little bow. Uh, to hang from there. Not, I'm not a bow maker at all. Can't do bows. Hate them. <laughs> um, and as you can see, it's a friend is someone who reaches for your hand and touches your heart. So there you go. Um, that was going in there, par in Glenda's parcel, and uh, I did show her it last night, and she loved it. So I'm quite thrilled with that. The only thing is, it had that picture in, but small. Not this this one, but one same as that smaller in there and I changed my mind and decided to put our picture in when we went to Niagara Falls so there you go Glenda that's your tag darling it's going in your box and that will be out to you shortly now this is Chris's which I'm going to re take this off and do the same I, I want to do the same basically they're, I mean the two different tags but I want to do the same I have got a trim or I'm waiting for a trim to go all the way around here and I'm going to put some dangly beads on this one as well. Uh, and then that will be finished, that one. Like again, I made a double bow for this one. I do like them double bows, they're quite nice. But, um, like I say, that's yours, Chris. I do have to finish it off, sweetheart, and it won't be long before I do that. Um, and they're the two that I've been doing. Now, I was asked a while back how to do a shadow box this has got the acetate in this is just a rough one that I've, I've run, you know run up um, and you basically this that is the base uh, sorry that's the lid what am I talking about the base and I have shown how to do these boxes but for the lid you want to cut that out I will show you how to do that it's not finished off it's just a mock up so I will show you how to put the acetate in, how to cover it. All this will be covered properly and show you how to make that lid. It is so, so sturdy, really strong. I've used 2mm chipboard. Don't use flimsy stuff. It doesn't work. It works, but then it, it, after a while it, uh, it, go, it sags. So and it's, If you're going to do a job, do it properly. That's what I say. Um, that's really sturdy. Can't do anything to that. And... Um, like I say, I will come back and show you how to do that lid. So that's that. Um, now, I read the kits out the other night, didn't I? Two kits have gone to Wendy in Canada. One's an envelope, one's a box, darling, because we have to split it because of the weight. Uh, Tassie Crafty in London. You should have yours by now, darling. You have, have you let me know? If not, will you please let me know if you've uh, had that. I'll have to look back on my emails, but if not, please let me know that you've received it, sweetheart. That's in London. Um, one stamp has bought kit five. I'll sort that out because there was a reason why I haven't sent it just yet. But I'll sort that out and be back in touch with you shortly. And um, Tracy, did you get your parcel? I can't find an email to say that you got your parcel. It should have arrived the day after. It really should have done. So hopefully you did. Please let me know, darling, if you got it. 
I, and you know, I don't know what's the matter, but last night when I was talking to Glenda, or through to the early hours, um, when people were emailing me, my emails, you know, on YouTube, my emails were disappearing. One minute they were there, the next minute they were just disappearing. So I don't know what's going off. And I don't like it. <laughs> it's only been happening the last couple of days. So I hope nothing's gone wrong. Right, everyone. Uh, oops, and I dropped my scissors. Now, um, I've just made these two flowers. And uh, I will be showing how to make them, but not yet. Uh, because this is going to be one of my tutorials. Um, on the new channel starting the 31st of September and I just want to show I'll show you the small one first this one um, has a little pink centre and then a red rim around it and then a nice little ruffle this one has just got the pink at the sorry the red center and if you look at it I'm not sure if you can see it you have to excuse my fingers I'm still full of ink but hopefully you can see that um, and then like I say we've got a nice rose oh not a rose it's a just a nice flower and um, I'm going to be showing you how to do it <laughs> sneaky preview then but uh, there you go they're going to look great on projects um, just trim them down so keep watching join the channel I will announce it shortly and um, just see how easy things are to do we're going to show you the easy way here's a little uh, flower that I've made and it's actually made from a stick pin one of the diamante stick pins so if you want to know how it's made let me know <laughs> and uh, I'll show you these are so simple and anybody could make them and you can embellish them I'll come back in a minute and show you that and that's just a quick demonstration of what you can actually do I've used a Martha Stewart punch in black some feathers some shiny leaves and a bit of boa black boa and you've got that Thanks for watching.